hello guys and welcome back to the channel this is liquid ocelot uh, guys today we are going to be talking about how to run metal gear solid 2 substance on pc sx2 emulator on low end laptop uh, before i start this video i want to show you guys something my friends and it's very very important to know uh, why i have chosen the pc csx2 emulator for this purpose if i go to xbox and i open this zemu emulator for xbox i'm going to show you the results my friends uh, machine system and then you see i have put in all the required files mcbx boot rom flash rom hard disk image every file i have put inside of this so i have put all of the files inside this you saw the xbox logo just now my friends and now if i uh, if i press the x button i go to uh, load disk so you see um, uh, you, you see these two uh, this x uh, sio file this is also present my friends but look what happens i have put it load disk x iso file i have put this disk nothing is happening in fact for me it was working before but uh, now it's not even working now and uh, this other emulator there was a black screen my friends just early on uh, we go to another emulator cxb and i'm going to show you on this emulator if i open xbe file i had to convert the file somehow and this is the mgs2 xbe file which i had to convert an uh, xbox iso file so if i nothing happens and if i play start nothing is happening so both of these emulators are failure now my friends before you uh, start i wanted to make this clear that is why i chose pcsx2 uh, emulator to run metal gear solid 2 substance what we are going to do we are going to first check our laptop specifications under right click windows start button system and then uh, uh, we are wait wait yes this is the about section so all of the specifications lenovo t450 12gb ram 64 bit, uh, bit operating system this is what we were looking for the second step my friends is simple we go to system uh, we go to um, this uh, power options and then additional power options power settings and additional power settings and we make sure we have selected ultimate performance this is step number two step number three my friends is go to task manager and simply kill all the tasks now you must have seen that i have got so many tabs open you have to kill all of these tabs cc cleaner running in the background free download manager running in the background uh, all the idle apps and all, uh, microsoft edge uh, playrium game or everything peer to profit and honey gain i keep running all the time but all of the unnecessary apps you have to uh, kill those tasks before starting the game my friends once you have done that my friends uh, you have to go to this website now I'm going to show you my friends uh, pcsx2.com you have to go to this website uh, .net sorry I always forget this that it is .net and this is a huge problem for me because I always forget that, that it is uh, it is this dot, .net thing so my friends pcsx latest emulator you have to download this latest nightly one which is x6464 bit emulator this is the one we are using you have to extract the files my friends you have to extract the files and everything inside them and uh, inside a folder simply as that's inside a folder and the emulator will be installed just by extracting the file and then we go to ps2 ps2-bios.com for downloading the latest bios simple as that my friends once you have downloaded this bios uh, once you have downloaded this bios there is a download link somewhere here uh, final thoughts and stuff like that have to look at the they have also given the instructions how to uh, um, 
inst installed they, they they we will show you how to download this is the bios link you have to download it and then uh, my friends i leave this xbox thing i'll go to the this uh, my pc and uh, i'll go to P, uh, pcsx where i installed it extracted the file and there you will see this bios folder over here so you have to you have to this i have downloaded and just extracted all the files over here the bios files now this this was the step now make sure you have the uh, video downloaded uh, the this uh, everything set up you have the iso file set up no shenanigans like the xbox version where you have to convert it into stupid export version of the bios or xbe or whatever you are not a programmer you are a simple man if they want you to do everything by yourself then what's the need of uh, uh, you doing things by your, on your own my friends so what what i'm going to do is go to the pcsx uh, to emulator my friends and the 64 bit one and I'm going to open it up my friends now what happens is uh, all you have to do now is go to uh, system uh, system settings and uh, you have to make sure that the BIOS is selected you have to make sure you select this BIOS any BIOS really select the BIOS over here uh, so I think this game is USA, but I'll select USA just for the lols, my friends. I'll select U USA fast boot and emulation. You check this the settings. Uh, the settings I think are normal, uh, normal settings two frames because this is a low end uh, uh, laptop, my friends. Low end laptop. Audio audio is uh, text stretch synchronization i don't want any synchronization uh, but i'll keep it this stereo and uh, x audio 2 you have to take x audio 2 in the audio settings my friends these are all the things that you need and now let's uh, i'm not going to load this game over here my friends i'm going to the system and uh, start this from here because uh, it would be better if i do that uh, it would be better that I do take it from manually. So I'll I'll just go to D and MGS2, and you see two uh, files over here ISO. One is the Xbox one, the Xbox ISO version, and one is the PlayStation 2 ISO. Now let's open this game up. Let me show you everything, my friends. Guide you through the process, and you will be shocked. You will be shocked, my friends. Now this is running on the um, uh, USA BIOS. This is running on the USA BIOS, my friends, and uh, Direct uh, uh, 3D 11, as you can see down bottom. And the cutscenes will start. The music at start. Now I will just reduce the sound of the music, my friends, so that you guys can hear me out. And you see the logo. Everything is showing properly. Everything is running. The stupid Xbox emulator is not working properly, my friends. This is what I'm talking about. The music is fine. There is no crackling sound. The PCSX2 uh, emulator, I really liked it, my friends, to be honest with you. I really liked it. And uh, I love this PCSX2 emulator. It's the best emulator, I think. And always updating. Uh, go to the help section and make sure you update all these files and stuff like that, my friends. Now I'm going to press L button, L button, and now I'm going to press enter. New game L button and uh, tanker plant normal. You can choose easy as well if you like. And now you'll see another cutscenes, more and more cutscenes, my friends. So you can, I'm just going to show you a bit and then we are going to the gameplay footage, my Nudge friends, River. because uh, Two years ago, crystal clear voice we had from David Hyder. that a new type of metal gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our skipped it from K. This is the initial uh, legendary scene, the rain scene. I'm going to skip it. K. 
and now I'm going to skip the briefing as well. The sound is crystal clear. Don't worry about it, my friends. Just follow these instructions and you will be running this. And I don't even have an NVIDIA GPU, my friends. The this mission Xbox, objective is to This make is them. Xbox thing really destroyed me, my friends. Took away my crucial time. All right. Let's look. Took away you. my crucial, crucial time. Uh, my time energy was wasted on this Xbox emulator. EMU emulator is the worst emulator out there. Never use it, my friends. Just use the PACSX2 emulator. Trust me. Trust me. And if I upgrade my laptop or something in we 2024, I'm a poor guy, my friends. I'm a very poor person. In 2026, maybe I upgrade it. Eighth generation or something. I'm going to go for uh, RPCS3 emulator. Look at this. Movement is fine. There is a bit of lag, so you can change the settings, graphic settings. Ask in the Discord server if you need any help. I'm going to punch, punch something. L. This is the gameplay. It's a big lag. I have to admit, my friends. But these are problems that can be resolved. There is a reason for the lag, my friends, because there are too many tasks running in the background. So this was the game, my friends. And I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Press the bell notification for future updates. And share this video with everybody, my friends. So that Metal Gear Solid is a brand is revived somehow. Thanks for watching. I'll be signing off. Take care.